Oh, my computer's really worrying about this. Good thing we have uh, subtitles in case things start stuttering. I don't think we'll really need to do that, but you know, you never know. Oh, breaking the fall a bit, I guess. So we don't bounce too much, I think. That helps, like, sort of, arguably. Again, um, the game, the show, must go on, and it does. Believe you me. Ah, uh, there you go, computer. Now you can calm down. Here I am talking to a machine. Well, while playing a game about machines, while recording my voice into the machine, in which, in a way that goes from machine to man, after, well, machine, man to machine to man to machine to, to, we're having a dialogue here. Me and the machine and you listening to me and all that. So chapter eight, six, I mean, is the second of the three inner aperture chapters. All right. Yeah, chapter six, the fall. We've done the fall. The fall is just the beginning of this uh, remarkable chapter in which we must Search around for portable walls. You have to keep a sharp eye out. Find every opportunity we can get because we'll need them. Good thing that there's the zoom in button. Comes in handy when you're playing with a controller. <laughs> that way, you can look far ahead, be a little precise with your portals. Oh, I think we don't need it here. We can just walk along this way. Now, I don't really remember these, uh, like, deep aperture chapters too well. I might get stuck once or twice. But here, I don't think I really will. Because, uh... Okay, now... Oh, All right, up there. That's the ticket. So now we have to walk back, because I... Well, I didn't need to walk that far. I probably could have looked in the first place. I'm, I'm an apologetic person. I hope you don't mind. See, I'm doing a double... The double apology. The apology for the apology. Um, wait a minute. Where? There must be a wall on this side. I guess? Ah, over here. Beneath the spotlight. I think there's a song about spotlight under the spotlight something something ah. underneath the spotlight you're a million miles away I think no it, that's there's some song that goes that way Beneath the spotlight, under the spotlight. I went the wrong way, didn't I? I did. Uh, oh, this is the right way to go. I will enter and I will not keep out. Your signs don't d dissuade me. I continue my march towards science. Oh, come to think of it, this chapter does have some... Um, some sciencey bits. Uh, I don't know how far I'll like record. 
here on out. Oh, look at that. We were told to push a button after pushing buttons and maybe pulling a lever or two once or twice. Strange pipes, I must say. These are the strange pipes that we have here today. Hatch reclusion override. Oh, I think this is one of those. It, it's similar to a puzzle that we had in the first portal. Um, wait a minute. This this way to do it. That's even better. Oh, that's the hatch. Right. Better walk on over to it. So, you remember when I said this game was uh, mis misandrist in a way? Or at least implicitly misandrist because the male characters are, well, not, not very intelligent, not very nice even. Um, we're gonna meet another such character. Yet another machine, of course. Uh, you know what, I probably shouldn't have said that. I spoiled a bit. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just so excited to be sharing with you this wonderful game. Oh, wait, we don't... We don't get to meet that character just yet. But we will soon. Maybe when we do meet that character, I will then cut out, like, stop recording. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is, but okay. I know what to do here. Uh, sneak a portal in there. Get in through this way. Ah, now we're at the point, point, point where we get to the entrance way. And meet our new character. Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? Okay, now I'm gonna move up the audio. I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Free as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. Right through the logo. How about that? The old logo. See, it's not curved like the other, like the new one I guess maybe and it's Aper Aperture Science Innovators that's the original doing business as name there's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres I can't personally oversee every one of them so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Shower Curtain Salesman. Cave Johnson. How about that? Um, so yeah, he went from being a salesman to running this whole thing. How about that? But he's not the nicest man, as you can kind of tell. Here, let me just take this lift up. You're gonna need to do a little portal action as we get around. Or, uh, in order to get around. So Cave Johnson is kind of like the first Elon Musk character, you know what I mean? Like the, the big CEO, the guy running the show. 
but he's not particularly intelligent. But what is intelligent is making a portal there, and then walking on down this way. I think at the bottom of this, there's a portalable space like that one. See, I do remember some of this. My memory is not terrible. It is quite functional. Today. Some other days, not so much. But today, I'm, I'm thinking alright. Blue gel is what we're going to be dealing with. The pump station alpha. The blue one. Again, blue. I spoiled the game. But we, well, I didn't spoil exactly what this blue will do to me and you. Uh, no, it's not, the, it's not the way to go. Um, well, I can definitely portal there. Definitely portal there. Up there. That might work. Uh, up to, up to it. Uh, now where? Now what? Uh, did I go from there? Yeah, I went from there. Now I am here. Uh, maybe there? No, there. Get a little bit higher. Let's take it higher. I shall. Well, okay, I know the song I'm kind of referring to. It goes, Can You Take Me Higher? Uh, in a pl to a place where blind men see. Is built on the shoulders of giants. Creed. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Kind of a Christian rock band, and frankly, a very uh, high quality rock band. I'm not super fond of Christianity. I mean, some parts I appreciate uh, quite a bit, but. You know, th th there's some harshness here and there that I don't like, I, I dislike. All right, let's get started. This the patriarchy is, is part of that. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Let's see, what time is it? Uh, I can, I can go for a little bit longer. Maybe finish up this chapter. Actually, you know what? Well, should I have a cliffhanger? I think I'll have a cliffhanger. We'll see what that... Oh, did he say what gel it was? Repulsion gel, right? I think that's what he called. Well, we shall really see it next episode. Yes, I'm, ha I'm having a cliffhanger. Uh, so stay tuned.